Mr. Cleaver right here. Uh, so I'm on a beach in Spain. So like, you're probably wondering what that's got to do with clean flight. Well, uh, I was flying earlier uh, at a new flying spot down here in Spain and uh, I managed to crash and break both of my uh, quads. So I thought I'd come down to the beach and uh, talk to you about clean flight from here instead of where I was because it's a bit nicer down here, as, as you can see. Yeah, loads of fun. Uh, so yes, also want to thank uh, everyone that contributed to the Clean Flight 1.1 3.0 release. There's been uh, loads of really good work by uh, loads of people on that. It's been absolutely excellent work with everybody. Um, there's loads more in store for Clean Flight in the future. Um, obviously, there's all the uh, Boris B's Beta Flight merge packs and so on like that. He's doing some excellent work with the flight improvements. Um, there's loads of other. I had to leave it there. There's loads of other improvements coming along, such as the. Um, OSD support, so I'm also in the middle of building OSDs. Um, so one of the key things that uh, people need is uh, OSDs. And for a long time now it's been really nice to configure your flight controller when you're out in the field. OSDs are a really simple and good way to do that. The only one that's been out there for a while has been the Minimo OSD board. Uh, the Minimo OSD board um, it basically uses the Arduino processors, the AppMail processors this legacy sort of 8-bit code so I basically want to do improve things going forwards. Um, so there's other flight controllers which have built-in OSDs and that's one thing that we're keen to support in clean flight. Um, also as well as standalone OSDs and leveraging the clean flight code base and also the clean flight development. Um, so we basically write the code once and use it for two different systems which is great. Um, so you know common things like mathematics stuff you can use those OSDs for flight controllers battery filtering, monitoring, stuff like that, current sensors, you've got those in the OSD as well. Um, it also opens the door for um, people designing boards that have OSDs built in as well. Um, some already exist, such as the Brain FPV, so in the future we can see the that. Um, there's other developers which are building their own ones as well. So it's going to be very interesting. Um, it also opens the door for people building in OSDs on like the PTS. Yeah, so again, once uh, thanks everybody to uh, help out with the Clean Flight 